Welcome to Gibbsfield Farms. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we make these Johnson Sioux compost that are behind me, currently stored in this heated shop. Final product, right there. Beautiful, beautiful. It's nice stuff. Now, let's dive into how we make these, how we fill them, how we manage them, and how we get it to turn out like that beautiful dirt that I just showed you. Slowly coming along. Gonna pull all these out. Holes, the tile pieces there on the bottom. So the tile pieces are underneath of the wood piece there. And these are just a seed bag. We'll slice some holes in the bottom too to help it breathe. But we're working on six of them here today. And then we got a TMR mixer up there to mix it up in. So we got our mixture in here for our Johnson Sioux uh, and this big TMR mixer. So we got augers there mixing it up. We got some alfalfa and some um, bedding pack livestock manure, uh, grass hay, a little bit of corn stalk. So I'm just watering it down here now to get it good and wet, good consistent moisture on it. Probably going to add a little bit more grass, try to keep our ratio 40% carbon, 40% uh, grass and uh, green material, and then 20% uh, nitrogen. So we don't have a whole lot of manure in it, but we got the PTO running there. We got this old mixer we got bought cheap. So we are, uh, yeah, making enough. We're going to make five IBC totes worth of Johnson Sioux compost. So it's just mixing up nice. Augers are running nice and slow so we got the tmr mixer with a whole bunch of uh, compost in it and then we're augering it into there and then i'm just taking my hands and kind of leveling it off and then uh, we're filling them full and then we're bringing them over here where we've got finished ones so got them real nice and wet and uh yeah it's really wet and squeeze it juice comes out between your fingers and a little bit coming out the bottom but not too much we're going to probably water them down just a little bit more but we got a lot of liquid coming out the bottom of the tmr mixer feed mixer so it works pretty good so we got a few more to fill up there and uh, we bought this old mixer for pretty cheap price and works good for mixing up compost Behind me, we have our Johnson Sioux here that we made. If you remember, they were plump full, heaping full when we filled them up. We had those tubes right there, them white tubes. They were inside of it. And uh, yeah, we've been keeping them in this heated shop here where they're not gonna freeze. And uh, they've already went through their heating cycle and now they are cooling down. We added worms to them here a few months ago. Uh, they are roughly six and a half-ish, seven months along. So they just really look beautiful. And just remember, this is there is no dirt in there. We did not add any soil to this. That is composted uh, livestock manure and uh, alfalfa and wood chips and straw and alfalfa and some corn stalks. You can make a ball with it. But boy, it just really, really... This stuff is nice. It's really, really nice. So, oh, it's just, it's got that beautiful earthy smell. It's nice stuff. Really, really nice compost here. Each one of these is probably going to be about yeah, 500 pounds or so. Um, like I said, they've settled about two feet. We've got the thermometer in there. You can see uh, it is telling us that they are just over 60 degrees. So that's good. They're, you know, they're in a heated shop here. So. You know, they're not going to freeze, but we got all five of them in here. Uh, go right down the road. I was kind of digging in that one a little bit. You can see the holes still in them. Um, earlier, I grabbed a handful of this stuff here, and there's an earthworm in my hand. But it is just really, really nice compost. And this is Johnson Sioux compost that we made. I really, really like these bags. Um, 
the bags allow it to breathe better. I don't know if you can see there, I can kind of push the bag away from it. So you can actually get your hand down in there. So it allows it to, it really allows it to breathe around the outside better. And then we also have the tube holes in there. Um, I really like this design just because the bags, I think, allow it to breathe easier than like an IBC tote would. Um, I know the way Dr. Johnson and his wife, Sue, do it. Um, they have the black paper, uh, like a landscape paper. That works awesome too. I've done one that way too. Um, I like these bags because I have like a hundred of them just sitting around. We sell cover crop seeds. So we've got a lot of them sitting around. So they really work good. If they got a little tear or rip in them or whatever, throw a piece of tape over it. We can use them for this. So we will throw them away after this. We will use this stuff up before these bags biodegrade. These bags will biodegrade, get thin and rip, tear and rip and stuff. But we just put them inside these chemical IBC tote cages. The cages work really good for that. We just put the bag inside of it. Really works good. Like I said, we will pull that, all that compost out of there before them bags actually biodegrade. So yeah, we got five of them here. They all look really good, really composting and breaking down. Awesome, making some good fungal rich compost for us. And just using your senses, your smell, your feel and uh, whatnot, you can tell that they just, it smells like timber soil when you grab this. It's just really good stuff. Love that smell. It's just real nice, earthy, rich soil type smell. But like I said, it's got no dirt in it. That's 100% composted material that we mixed together, went through a heating stage, cooling stage, added the worms to it, let it do its thing. So yeah, these turned out real well. We got our tubes in back. We will reuse them for when we do some more. This fall, we would like to do another half a dozen or so um, if we get around to it. Biggest thing is finding a place inside to store them where they're not going to, um, you know, freeze. So um, that's just kind of the hiccup. We're kind of short on space. This shop is a shop we use to work in, and it's half full of Johnson Sioux composters. So, you know, works out good for that. But, uh, yeah, that is our Johnson Sioux compost that we are using here on Gibbs Field Farms. So we're making some extract here. We got our machine going. And then the uh, spent compost coming out the back into our bucket. Today we are going to cut the bottom off of this. As you can see, there is some green growing up above on that. So what that is, is that is oats that I threw in there. Oats help to build mycorrhizal fungi. And uh, so we will cover this with compost and another layer of food as soon as we get done cutting the bottom off.